Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to draw Deadpool and hopefully you guys will follow along and draw with me. Alright, so here we go. Let's start with the head here. And keep in mind I'm drawing a little darker for this base layer and just the shapes just so you can see it more clearly and follow along with me but normally if I was doing this I would be drawing very lightly because I'm just trying to establish the shapes and and the pose and everything on the paper and then when I come down with uh, some tighter pencils I'm gonna I would tighten it up a little bit and not necessarily use all the lines that I used okay so we've got the head here then I brought the neck underneath where that's going to be and it's going to help me line up the uh, the center line of the chest here here's the back and the shoulder it's going to be right here but I'm going to go ahead and keep the center line going for where I'm going to put the rest of the midsection so there's down to the waist right there and bring the back of the shoulder and the back down to the waist Here's the uh, the crotch right there. So now we've got the upper body down to the crotch. I'm gonna throw the legs in there now too. This leg's gonna kind of be coming down to the side. Here's the uh, upper part of the leg, the thigh, and here's where I'm gonna put the knee. And then just bring the rest of it back, back in here. Now this leg is going to be uh, kind of coming straight at you, so it's going to be a little, a little thicker than this one, just because you're getting the top view versus the side view. And bring it to the knee here. It's kind of really all I've got room for. It's down there. I'll put the calves in too. Same thing here. All right, so now I'm gonna start working on the arms here. Now this arm, this back arm, I'm gonna have the shoulder, and then the rest of the arm is gonna kind of be blocked by his body. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you how that it's kind of easier to draw it this way. If I put the hand out here first, so this rectangle for the hand, and then bring the thumb right here. And now you can bring the the forearm back into the body because like the rest of his arm would kind of be behind here so you can't necessarily see that part of it alright put the fingers this is the bottom part of the hand right here so like if you're looking at it you can still kind of see this part okay now I'm going to do this arm I'm going to start with a big circle for the shoulder. I'm going to bring a little cylinder down here for the bicep and tricep area. Bring it down to the forearm. Have another cylinder that kind of gets narrower as you get to the wrist. I put the hand here. This is the top of the hand. I'm going to have him holding a sword, but I'm going to put those in in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and just do the hand first. Okay, so these are the knuckles. This is the top part of the hand. Okay, so now we have the basic shit, the basic body in here. Now we can start adding details. We're going to be able to tell that it's Deadpool now. All right, so I'm gonna start with some some costume stuff. It's got this black area that kind of comes up uh, right here and goes all the way down on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. He's also got that on his legs. 
just comes, it continues down from the top on his, all the way to his legs. Now I'm also gonna start defining some of these muscles too, like on this arm. This is the biggest example in this one just because the legs, this is kind of how I'm gonna leave the legs. But the arms, you gotta come down and do the bicep. And since his arm is bent, it's gonna kind of come to a peak right here. And then the triceps gonna have that too because it's being squeezed. Well, the triceps really kind of getting expanded, I guess, that way. Because it gets contracted when you're straightening your arm. But anyway, it's gonna kind of come to a peak too, but it's gonna be higher than this one. Then that, I'm gonna bring that down to the elbow. Maybe add a little curve right here. So it's not just straight at the bottom of the arm. And that black part of the costume is also gonna be on his arm. So we're gonna do that there. And he's got like these little bands around his wrist. That I'm gonna put right there. We're gonna shade those in at the end too, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on this arm too. Same thing. All right, so we got the basic parts of the costume in there now. We still gotta add the belt and the pouches and all that kind of stuff too, but let's go ahead and do the face. Now, there's a couple ways you can draw Deadpool's uh, mask. Sometimes he's got like that little uh, flap in the back but you don't have to put that in there if you don't want to and you can't really see his uh his mouth or his nose or anything he's got to show a lot of expression with a face covered so most of the time artists will do that with deadpool's eyes it's the same way with spider-man you got to show a lot of emotion with his eyes since you can't see anything else He's not really doing anything in this one though, so it's just these are just pretty normal eyes. Okay, and I like to kind of do the the top part of the nose, just because you know if if you're wearing a mask, your nose is still gonna stick out. So like I draw this line here, just because when you're coloring in this eye patch, it will kind of you could still kind of see the contour of the nose. So that's why I do that. But of course, if you're looking at his face straight on, you don't have to do that. You could just do like a slight shadow underneath the nose. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do his mask like this. I'm not gonna have the little flap hanging off the back, but I just wanted to mention that because sometimes I draw him like that and some people do draw him like that, but I'm not going to right here. All right, I'm gonna put like these little things around his wrist. I'm gonna put one around his neck too. Now we're gonna start throwing in his, his belts and everything. So he's got this belt that holds his uh, swords that comes around the side like this and goes all the way to the back. And I'm gonna do it having this uh, connecting part on this side too. So he's gonna have two swords. And then, um, you're not really gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. I like to do, when I'm drawing Deadpool, make his little uh, his little emblem belt buckle, make it big. But you're gonna put that right there in the middle, like right where I have this line and this line meeting, like at the bottom of the waist before you start going down the crotch, like that's usually where I would put the belt buckle. And then just do the pouches out from there. You can do as many pouches as you want. Deadpool's got a lot of pouches, so as many pouches as you want going around the outside. And you can even throw some on his legs, too, if you want to. I'm not going to put any gun holsters in here, but, you know, he could have gun holsters, too, if you wanted. There we go, throw an extra one. And you can put all kind of stuff on him if you want, all kind of... Uh, accessories and weapons like grenades and stuff you can just slap them on these belts have them like hanging off like you could draw one and just have it hanging there if you wanted to all right so now it is time for the swords okay put this first sword here and have like this little 
top part. I'm darkening it now because I'm it's getting kind of busy. I'm having to draw on top of stuff. Now I'm just freehanding this right now, but you may want to use a ruler to do the swords. I'm just in the interest of time. I'm gonna do it like that. And also, if if any of you are drawing along with me, I would love if you end up posting it to social media or anything, if you would tag me in it, because I'd love to see it. All right, so now we're gonna have this other sword right here. Just stick it in his other hand, and the same thing. You, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do this as some kind of like finished piece, you want to color and everything, you might want to. Um, you might want to use a ruler, but I'm just freehanding it right now, just to kind of show you guys how I would do it. But if I was doing like a commission or something, I definitely would take out a ruler on stuff like swords. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, darken in some of the lines now that we kind of have it set, what we've got. And then I'm gonna start shading in some things. Some of the things that I would color black, I'm gonna go ahead and shade them in just so we can differentiate here. Especially the, the costume pieces. Some of them are now covered up by belts though, so I'm not worried about that. I'm not gonna cover I'm not gonna color that part in. Yep. Right there. Oh, that's a belt too. I'm gonna do these black spots on the back of his gloves too. Alright, and this is how, you, how I would draw Deadpool. Uh, if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to be notified for more videos. Thanks everybody for watching.